Hey guys, welcome back to the Cotton Channel. Today, I'm going to teach you the correct way to use concealer for your dark circle. So this is very important because a lot of people has been using concealer the very wrong way. And this is a method that a lot of professional makeup artists has been using to prevent cakiness and to make it look as natural as possible. So first up, I like to put on heavy concealer. So what I mean is that I like to put a lot of concealer on my under eye to cover up the under eye area. So I have with me is a jar concealer cream. So what you want to do is you want to use the back of your brush and then just take some and then put it on the back of your hands. So you want this color to be just one shade lighter than your skin, like just very slightly lighter. Or it could work if you use like the exact same color as your skin color, but not darker than your skin color and not super light as well. So you want to put it at the back of your hands and then you just tap 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 tap. With a concealer brush or you can use a Q-tip, a cotton bud or anything like that. And then the idea is that you want to put it at the correct place. So I like to brush it over here. Okay, just this area, like some tutorial will teach you to put the entire triangle until over here, right? But you don't have to do that. But you just want to cover it underneath over here. And then another side you want to cover is probably here. Like, okay, you see like here, right? My over here is like very dark. So you want to cover over here. So the reason is that you want to cover only certain areas because if you cover the entire area, right? Your eyes will look like very fake and very photoshoppy and then it's too perfect because natural eyes has different shade on it, right? So what you want to do is if your concealer is like too wet and stuff like that, you want to wait maybe a minute to until it dries down a little bit. And then what you want to do is you use your fourth finger and then you just dab it. Dap it around to over here, like over here. You can dip around the skin, and then this area that we have not covered, right? It will be weird if we have it like this, right? You want to dip it upwards with the remainder concealer that is on your hands and the secret to not having cakey concealer right is powder actually so putting powder is another thing that is very important like how much you put and how you put it it's also very very important so with a brush that will cover your under eye area so what you want to do is, you see there are fine lines over here, right? You want to dab it one last time and not move your eyes. Okay, so, and then with that, you put your powder on. Same goes with the top area over here. You want to dab it one last time, make sure there's no crease or no folds over here. Okay, as you can see, this is very crazy, right? Like, why am I putting so much makeup on to make it look not cakey? The idea is to actually lock the liquid stuff that is on the concealer. So after you put the powder, right, what you want to do is you want to brush them off. So a lot of powder, right? You want to clean this off and then you want to brush them off as much as you can. So the best is if you can avoid getting it on your eyelashes, it will be better. If not, you will have to just clean up your eyelashes after that because it will look like very whitish, right? But if you have mascara on, then it doesn't matter if you get it on your eyelashes or not. So you see, ta-da! This is how you do concealer on your eye area. And then you see, it's actually not cakey. You see, it's having the same fine lines as the one without. So this is how you do concealer on your eye area to make it look very natural. So this is without, 
this is with so you can see the difference with and without Ta-da! So if you like my makeup tutorial, please do subscribe to my channel and do check out my other videos and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!